Good day, everyone. I hope you're having the most wonderful day today. Welcome to Film Inside. In today's video, we are going to discuss some more Ink Master cast members and how they are doing today. Without wasting much time, let's get into the content, guys. Shane O'Neill. Shane O'Neill made his first appearance in Ink Master in the first season, and he emerged as the winner of the first season. Shane O'Neill is known to be self-taught as a graduate from the University of the Arts in Philadelphia, where he bagged a degree in Bachelor of Fine Arts. During O'Neill's run in Ink Master, Shane never once sat at the bottom, nor was he ever up for elimination, which has been that one remarkable thing about him. Shane wowed everyone when he created a Japanese-style tattoo and a coloured skull tattoo which gave him the win in Ink Master. Shane also specialises in wildlife along with horror artwork. Shane O'Neill opened his own tattoo parlour named Shane O'Neill Infamous Tattoo with several locations like Middletown, Delaware, Willow Grove and also Pennsylvania. He also launched his own line of tattoo product through his company System One Products. Shane is doing great for himself, even though he isn't fully active on Instagram like other Ink Master winners. The same goes for the second winner of Ink Master. They are both inactive, mostly due to the tight schedule. Steve Teft Steve Teft is a tattoo artist who made his first appearance in Ink Master during the second season. Steve is well known as the self-acclaimed party guy. Steve is renowned for his sense of style, which also includes a wardrobe of designer shirts. Steve Teft opened his very own tattoo shop in 2009 called 12 Tattoos and Body Piercing in Groton, Connecticut. He claimed he wanted to take the tattooing experience to the ultimate level. Steve Teft has quite the confidence and claims he works well under pressure and he is known to quickly adapt to any situation that gives him an edge. Steve does specialize in black and grey tattoos, which he is best known for, alongside his horror images and realistic portraits. Steve takes pride in being able to finish his work extremely fast. The 52-year-old also came back into the spotlight in Ink Master Season 10. Chris Blinston Chris Blinston, a tattoo artist and runner-up for Ink Master when he was featured in the sixth season, which also saw the return of Season 3's contestant Craig Foster, who finished the competition in eighth place. Chris is known to own No Hard Feelings Tattoo Parlors in Nebraska and also in Florida. After the show Ink Master, Chris Blinston was arrested twice. The first time for allegedly choking his 13-year-old daughter and the second time was when he was accused of assaulting his girlfriend with a safe that held the documents of their children. But Chris was later released the following day after he denied all accusations against him. That was not a good record there. Chris Blinston is currently active on Instagram and you can check his tattoos as he still updates cool tattoos on his page. Catherine Flores Catherine Cat Flores, who is professionally known as Tattoo Baby, is an American tattoo artist who was featured on the second season of Ink Master in 2012. Tattoo Baby came in fourth place, then she was featured again in the third season of the Ink Master for the second time in 2013, but this time she was placed second. It's no news that Tattoo Baby has a child with Eddie Soto, who is known to be a drug kingpin, a boy named Senor Roman Soto. Tattoo Baby started tattooing professionally by the time she was 19. After the third season of Ink Master ended, Tattoo Baby opened a tattoo shop of her own, which she named Till the End Tattoos in Miami, Florida. According to Teen Vogue, the studio has a range of artists who specialize in custom designs, black and gray work, and realism. So even if you can't get Tattoo Baby herself, she's definitely in high demand, you're pretty much guaranteed to find someone else you're into. Tattoo Baby is doing pretty well for herself, and she has been rated one of the top Latino tattoo artists in the United States. Angel Rose Angel Rose Fergastorm, a 26-year-old who is from Maui in Hawaii. Angel Rose is best known for her being a cast member of Ink Master Season 11 Grudge Match and Season 13 Turf War. Although Season 13 ended without a winner due to coronavirus, Angel Rose was alongside Jimmy Snaz and Bob Jones. Angel Rose currently runs her own tattoo studio, which is named Dark Moon Studios in Los Angeles. Angel paid a tribute to her father on her Instagram page in June, where she expressed her gratitude for his encouragement to her on her artistic journey. Joey Hamilton Joey Hamilton was a former United States Air Force officer who fell in love with tattoos when he was widely exposed to the art. Immediately after Joey left service, he began working on his technique in Florida. Joey Hamilton was the winner of Ink Master in its third season. He is also a tattoo artist who loves to travel the world while he produces hyper-real and beautiful tattoos from photographs. 
Joey started Revolt Tattoos in 2014 together with Walter Frank and he is happily married to Leanna Hamilton. Jason Clay Dunn Jason Clay Dunn made his first debut in Ink Master in its third season back in 2013 and also in the fifth season in 2015. Jason is a professional tattooist and a great artist with the nerve and need to always create from a young age. After Jason finished his apprenticeship at the age of 19, Jason Clay Dunn began his amazing journey to carve his name in the tattoo industry. Although Jason spent a long time dealing with the challenges of panic disorder and anxiety, Jason set his way to becoming a leading tattoo artist in neo-Asian technique. Anthony Michaels in the seventh season of Ink Master Revenge, which was aired on March the 1st, 2016, when he, Anthony Michaels, emerged the winner, with runner-up Clean Rock One and Christian Buckingham, respectively. Even when the season had veterans like Sarah Miller and Jesse Smith, who appeared on the second season of the show, Anthony Michaels is a famous tattoo artist who is working professionally with Metro Tattoo. Anthony rose to fame in 2016. He married YouTuber beauty Casey Palmer of Still Glamorous in 2015. They both have children named Bianca, Anthony and Noah. In addition to being a tattoo artist, he is also a basketball player and he studied at Southwest University of Visual Arts. Juan Salvador Juan Salvador is an artist known for both his color and black and gray work. Most of Juan's work often explores mythological figures from dragons to all other spiritual imagery. Juan opened his first tattoo studio in 2011 named The Color Conspiracy. Later, he started showing his artwork on his Instagram page in April 2012. Juan Salgado made his debut appearance to Limelight in Ink Master Season 10. Juan is alive and well and is currently working as a celebrity tattoo artist in his studio. David Cruzman David Cruzman was the winner of the sixth season of Ink Master, which aired in 2015. This season of Ink Master, Masters and Apprentice went head to head to battle for the title of Ink Master. David, a traditional artist whose winning piece was a nautical themed back tattoo that featured a ship as its focal point. In an interview with Carter Mark where he shared his thought process, David said, I definitely knew immediately I was going to go all out on a true American traditional back piece. I wanted to stick with some of the classics which is why I chose the eagle and the ship, David stated. Way before coming onto the show Ink Master, David Cruzman ran his own tattoo shop in Hagerstown, Maryland with his wife Kim. The old line tattoo was a success. David continues to work at his parlor ever since winning Ink Master. In another interview with Frederick News Post, David said, Not one day has gone by in the past 20 years that I have ever woken up and not wanted to come to work. I love my job and to me that is success. It is not about how much money you are making or anything like that. It's about waking up and being happy and not being miserable. In 2020, the Cruzman's already opened tattoo shop in California called the Old Line Tattoo West closed its doors permanently due to the coronavirus pandemic. David Cruzman continues to work on his shop in Maryland as a tattoo artist and often shares his work on his Instagram page. Glad to know he is doing all right. Well, folks, that will be all on today's video. If you're on the channel, I do hope you enjoy it. And if you did, be sure to drop a massive like down below and tell me your thoughts. Let us know who you think might be the best cast member on this list. You can subscribe for more content like this and turn on the notification bell to get instant access to our latest content. Have a good one, guys.